Okay, so I am out on a walk with my beautiful daughter, and I just thought I'd give you guys a review of a book I recently read called Turtles All the Way Down. And I thought it had a lot to say about someone with OCD. It had a really interesting perspective on what uh, the experience is like for someone with OCD. So here goes. In this book review, I'm gonna talk about whether I'd recommend this book for a client who was struggling with anxiety or OCD, and what I learned from the book and why I was inspired by this book, kind of. This video is sponsored by BetterHelp, where you can get professional, affordable online counseling for around $65 a week. So check out the link in the description for 10% off your first month. So I recently read the book Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, and I really liked it. It's a story of a girl named Aza who has OCD and her friend Daisy and their adventures trying to solve the disappearance of a billionaire developer and claim the reward. But really, this book is about the process of one teen trying to figure herself out and work through her relationships with her friend and her mother and boys and deal with life all while struggling with mental illness. So during the course of the story, the author describes Aza's struggle with what she calls invasive thoughts. Thoughts about bacteria and contamination that once they get started, they spiral into ever tightening cycles of fear and catastrophizing and compulsive behaviors like hand washing and changing band-aids. I mean, in one scene, Aza and this boy are getting together and they start to kiss and she gets so anxious about germs and his germs getting into her mouth that she, even though she really likes him and likes what's going on, she has to tell him to stop. So you can see how for a teenager, that would be pretty distressing if, you know, you're making out with the boy that you love and can't continue because of OCD. And you know, I really appreciated the nuanced and personal and what seemed to me like a very realistic and accurate portrayal of the internal workings of someone with OCD. And as soon as I finished the book, I looked up the author to find out how he was able to get such a perspective. Like I wondered, did his wife or a family member have OCD? And it turns out that John Green has OCD. It's something he's struggled with since he was a little kid. And so I read a couple things about him and I, I even read one interview with him where the interviewer kept asking him about it. And obviously she hadn't read the book where he describes Aza opening a thought spiral that she can't escape. And when the interviewer asks him directly, like describe what kind of thoughts make you go there, John, John Green basically said, you know, I'd rather not. It makes me kind of squirmy. And the interviewer awkwardly said, let's take a break. And this made me chuckle because the interviewer thought she was going for the good meaty details, but in reality, she was being really insensitive toward someone who has difficulty with intrusive thoughts or OCD. A few other things I appreciated about this book, uh, the psychiatrist is equal parts irritating and helpful. And this seems like a pretty accurate depiction of therapists in general. I mean, I can say that, right? Because I am a therapist and I don't try to be irritating, but I can imagine what it's like for someone with extreme anxiety to go into a therapist's office and be told, you are not your thoughts. Try a breathing exercise when it legitimately feels like your life is in danger. I honestly appreciated the candid and cynical approach that Aza had about therapy because it seemed like a pretty accurate depiction of how a teenager approaches it. I did recommend this book to one of my clients with OCD, and I would recommend it to others with a little hesitation. The strengths of this book is that it feels really real and seems to accurately express the struggle with mental illness in a way that could connect with teenagers and others who are struggling with OCD. But the book is not an everything works out type ending. It's more of a, there's still difficulties, but it's going to be okay type ending. And I think that for some people that could be depressing, but 
For most, I would hope that they find this book lends a validating voice to their struggle. And even more than the vulnerable, hopeful approach of the book, my number one takeaway is what I learned about John Green. Knowing that John Green has OCD, and he's been very successful. He's written five bestsellers, he's got 12 million subscribers on his YouTube channels, you've probably heard of his Crash Course and Vlogbrothers channels. His success is something that should inspire everyone to know that a mental illness doesn't stop you from having a successful, impactful, and inspiring life. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you liked this content and would like to see more of it, please consider subscribing and uh, take care. Just missed sunset. It's a pretty night walk. It was 100 degrees earlier today, so I'm taking advantage of the cool night air to get out with my daughter. What do you think, Grace? Oh, really?